And guys and gals, hope everybody's doing all right today. Uh, it is a rainy Monday afternoon, and I'm inside doing paperwork today. I wanted to take a quick break, and I um, wanted to talk to you about something that you probably already know about, but you probably, you know, I'm sure you probably heard the word, but you really don't know it, you know, doesn't come into everyday language. Some of you with a much, much higher IQ than me, um, I'm sure know the word and, and use it in your daily life. But anyway, the, the word, the phrase is opportunity cost. And it comes um, when you're making any decision in life, um, whether it be um, personal or business related. So real quick, without dragging this out too much, um, I want to give you an example of what what I mean by for those you don't those of you who don't know opportunity cost is basically the cost of um, making a decision um, that pulls you away from something else you know so in other words and I can give you an in the example I can give you, it's, it's a lot more clear than me just trying to describe it to you because I'm not, I, don't, I can't give you the Webster's Dictionary version of it. And I just, I'm not, I don't know it. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, all I got to do is look it up, but it's really not that important to me. I know what it is, so I wanted to just get it out of there. And, and it's a very real thing, so everyone needs to understand it. Um... Here's an example. I'll give you several. So say you're a senior in high school and you decide that you want to um, go to college and be a doctor. Well, you're at a fork in the road and you're trying to decide what you want to do, where you want to go. So you decide you want to go to school to be a doctor. Well, the opportunity cost of making that decision is that you can't be a lawyer um, unless you divert paths and go down that path but then you know if you're going to be a lawyer then you can't be a doctor you see what I'm saying so the opportunity cost is very real very real in the sense that you, you, you you know if you're looking for um, you know, how much it's going to cost you to do something. Um, the, the thing that most people don't take into account is what they can't do because they've made that decision. I'll give you another example. Let's say that you want to, um, and I love this example because this will, this will blow your socks off. Let's say that you want to buy a new car. Um, and let's say that car is about, I don't know, $35,000. Well, that, uh, you know, that $35,000 that you're shelling out for that new, you know, Toyota or Acura or whatever it is, if you can even buy an Acura for $35,000, you probably can't. But anyhow, if you decide you want to spend 35000 on a, on a brand new car, the opportunity cost of buying that car is that you don't have the thirty-five thousand. Let's just not even talking about borrowing the money to buy the car. I'm just saying if you have thirty-five thousand in cash, the opportunity cost of buying that car is that you don't have the thirty-five thousand to do other things with. So if an uber smart person was going to um, take that 35000 and invest it in just a regular S&P 500 index fund, um, which anybody can do, you don't need me to go through uh, an investment advisor or anything like that. It's real straightforward to do. Just get you an E-Trade account or, or whatever and log on and link it to your bank account and invest it into a... Uh, index fund um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't even 
well it does cost something but not much um but anyhow point is is that if you were to take that thirty five thousand and invest it in the s p 500 you know in about you know 20 25 years i mean that money's going to grow to anywhere between 200 and 300 thousand and um so essentially what you're saying is that i want to buy this $35,000 car now and and the opportunity cost of that is that you're not going to have you know $250,000 you know 25 years from now so you know um basically i hope you like the car so um because you know and and we all know that most cars nowadays don't cost 35000 if you're buying a brand new car. I mean, they go ridiculously high, 50, 60, 70,000. So, I mean, you're, you're talking about a 500, you're talking about a half a million dollar decision. And if you're going to invest $70,000 in a brand new vehicle, uh, suburban, and, uh, you know, what could that $70,000 be in 25 years from now if you invested in the stock market and just leave it alone for your retirement? I mean, that's a half million dollar decision that you're, um, you know, the, 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 there's a give and take. You know, the, the give is that you're giving away the opportunity to have a half million dollars 25 years from now. The take is that, well, you have a suburban sitting in your driveway that's going to be worth nothing in 10 years. Um, or very little, even if you take really good care of it. Anyway... Um, I could give you more examples, but, uh, you know, think about things a little bit outside the box, especially in terms of opportunity cost the next time you, you want something. Um, you know, it's, here's another quick example, and this is really didn't have anything to do with, with money at all. This is just, you know... You can't be in two places at once type of thing. Let's say that you're interested in, you know, uh, someone offers you a job and, um, you know, the job is a very good job. You know, it's really what you want. You know, it's right up your alley. And, um, but you have to work nights. You know, you, you go in it, you know, your shift starts at, you know, 12 or 1 o'clock in the afternoon and you don't get home till like 10 or 11 p.m. And you have small kids that you won't see at bedtime because of that. You know, because of your new job. And um, that is the opportunity cost, is that you get to take the job of your dreams, perhaps, but... Uh, the flip side of that is that you won't be home to see your kids a lot. So there's the opportunity cost. So, you know, it's kind of the same thing as having competing goals. You know, so do you want to spend more time with your family or do you want to spend more time, you know, securing your financial future? Anyway, um, food for thought. But that might help you make some decisions if you're uh, in the middle of making a decision right now. So anyway, y'all have a good day and thanks for listening and like and subscribe and uh, pass this on if you if you think this might help anybody. So talk to you later.